Um, I was fixing supper and I and there was no roar. It was I could just hear glass breaking, and I screamed for him. He was in the sunroom, and I got in front of the refrigerator. And then there was things. If I had stayed there, I might have been killed because it was coming down. Um, we realized the ceiling was gone. It was raining and hailing, and uh, we're grateful that we're alive. And went right across the. Uh the uh, top of this house here blew out the windows and of course took the roof completely off. Uh, this house is probably a total uh, total loss. We'll we'll probably put up something here uh, temporary so that okay. my husband can see about the cattle and we need to be around but we can't live here in this house. It's gone. It's very humbling. It's very humbling uh, and I always scratch my head after we do surveys like this, how did people survive that? You know, it makes you um, stop and think that there is a uh, somebody bigger than you and I, and we're just grateful to God that we're alive and well. When you lose somebody, it's hard. When you lose two people, it's even harder. <laughs> Everybody's trying to hold it together, but it's hard. I just don't know how we're going to do with that one. Uh, the first thing is just unbelievable. My husband and I lived here so many years and been through bad storms like there was last night, and you know, never had a problem, and never uprooted it. And then, all of a sudden, it's just, I mean, it's just gone, everything is gone. And so when we started grabbing stuff to go out the door, I've been calling kids and, and trying to get hold of everybody, and I got hold of my brother, and, and he said it was gone. He said that they couldn't find Mom and Don at first, so they were just trapped inside of all this. But mobile homes, uh, you know, they're not a safe place to be, tied down or not. They're not a safe place to be. Well, the wind came up and started blowing, which is not unusual around here, and then within about 30 seconds it was just all over with. The tornado shook the house and then took the roof off of part of the church building. I just looked and everything was swirling in the air, so it was definitely a tornado. And uh, just, uh, you know, got to, came outside as quick as I could after it settled down and tried to see what damage happened with the roof or sheds or even anything was left. Some people just down the road got killed. So uh, we got by pretty easy, really.